Users will now have the ability to sort and use filter views in Google Sheets without edit access. Users will also now be able to link to specific filter views to share with others and change the range of the filter view without needing to delete and then recreate it. So to demonstrate some of this, let's go into my spreadsheet here that I have. I have some population growth numbers for all of my states to the left side. I have my years, population, and then persons per square mile. Now you'll notice at the very top of my spreadsheet I am in a view only form of this document. I do not have full editing privileges. But you'll also notice that to the right side of my screen my filter icon is now bold and if I click on that you'll notice it allows me to create a new temporary filter view. Also to the left side of my screen here underneath my pull down menus you'll notice that my data menu is now bold and it allows me to click on the sort sheet by column F A through Z or F Z through A because column F is selected right now and then if I go down you'll also notice that the filter views has been enabled as well so just to quickly demonstrate this what we can do is we can just have a quick look at the data that I have in my spreadsheet here we have underneath years we have 1990 and if I scroll on down you'll see we go to 2000 and then if I go a little bit more we have 2009 so there's a lot of data here so maybe what I want to do is just create a quick filter on looking at one of those three periods so what I can do is I can go ahead and select my column here and then I can go up to the upper right corner and go to my icon and I can click on create new temporary filter view you'll notice that it pulls down this little gray bar at the top gray bar at the left and lets me know that I am creating a filter and this is one view of that filter now I can go to my column B here underneath my little pull down click on that you'll notice it pulls up all those different type of filtering options that we would normally get if we were even an editor or creating something ourselves we can sort A through Z here sort Z through A and then if I go down below here we see we have the different items that I can go ahead and select or deselect for my different filter so I'm going to go ahead and select years and actually deselect that We'll deselect the year 2009, 1990, and blanks, and then I'll click OK, and it will create that filter. Right away here we see is just the year 2000, all the way to the bottom, and that's it. Now I can also create multiple temporary filters if I would like to, and if I go back up to the upper right hand corner to my filter icon, you'll notice that underneath here we have none, and then there's temporary filter 1 now I can create another filter so maybe for this filter what I want to do is I want to look at just 1990 so we're gonna to go to my little pull down once again we will deselect everything but the year 1990 click OK and now I can look at just 1990 now kinda of the handy part about this is if I exit out of this in the upper right corner get rid of all of my filter views click away from my data if I go back up to my filter icon I can click on this and you'll see that underneath here I have temporary filter 1 temporary filter 2 select temporary filter 1 goes right back to that view I can go to temporary filter 2 and now it goes back to that 1990 view so what this is going to do for you it's going to allow you to be able to share your documents out you won't necessarily have to give certain people editing privileges for them to be able to filter and look through that different data that you're populating